who doesn't love a little nostalgia? And nostalgia sells when it comes to crypto. Unless you've been living under a rock the last couple days, you have heard about GameStop, the crypto token on Solana's Epic Ross. So not the stock, it's the new crypto token. It has gone from a sub 1 million market cap on Sunday, four days ago, to currently a 54 million market cap, reached an all time high earlier today of 65 million market cap. Number one trending on DEX tools. This coin has just come out of nowhere on the three year anniversary of GameStop, the stocks, epic rise, and short squeeze. We'll get more into that as well. But, you know, as you expect when a coin is mooning, you're going to have the imitator throwback coins created. They are also mooning AMC. See the uh, crypto token on Solana. It has gone from a sub one million market cap to an eight million market cap currently. AMC, as you're probably aware, they, their stock had a big rise in January 2021, mirroring GameStop. The stock's rise. That's the reason for this coin. Radio Shack, this coin didn't even have a stock that was mooning in 2021. It's just the nostalgia throwback of the Radio Stack store versus the GameStop store. They were both big in the 80s and 90s. It has uh, gone from zero to 500K market cap in today, and it reached a high of 1 million market cap. We'll see if that one can recover. Also, Solana Street Bets this is another token. Had a pretty good week it has reached a high of about three and a half million market cap right there but now get back to gamestop so trending number one it's done about 100x in the last couple days it's on solana so if you want to buy it it's not going to be on radium and jupiter for decentralized exchanges and for centralized exchanges it is on l bank and poloniex zero percent buy tax zero percent sell tax a very impressive liquidity and number one trending on dex tools all day and all week so what's going on here? Well, first of all, the short squeeze I mentioned. So back in, if you're not from the U.S., maybe you're not familiar with this, but here is GameStop, the stock, their chart. <coughs> now, exactly three years ago, January 2021, GameStop, the stock went from $3 a token to $120 a token in a couple days. Now, for crypto coins to do that, not that unusual. A few coins a month do that. Stocks, that is almost unheard of. It caused an investigation in Congress and the U.S. Senate. It was just that unusual. So what caused the big run-up when the store's retail sales weren't really that good in the fundamental sense? Well, this guy right here, Roaring Kitty, Keith Gill, real name, a YouTuber. He owned GameStop stock. He loved the store. He organized a big short squeeze amongst his followers. He encouraged everyone to buy the stock and try to raise the price so everyone can make money, but also to try to liquidate Melvin Capital, a big hedge fund in the U.S. who had a big short position on GameStop, so they were betting it was going to go down. But Keith Gill, he knew that if they got GameStop up to a certain price, it would instantly automatically liquidate Melvin Capital's holdings. And that is exactly what happened. Melvin Capital lost 49% of their funds value in one day when they got liquidated. And they were down $3 billion for that week. And they, a year later, they had to just shutter their fund completely. So it was one of the most epically successful short squeezes in U.S. history. It was an amazing thing to watch. So why, you know, why GME the stock right now, like three years later? Why? Well, number one, it is the three-year anniversary. It was late January, the last week of January, that the famous stock short squeeze happened. So it's part of that. A lot of people were sending out happy three-year anniversaries on Reddit and Messenger boards. What else? Well, the movie came out. That if you're not in the U.S., you might not know this. There was a movie that was great. It came out about two months ago in November. It was called Dumb Money, starring Seth Rogen. I saw it. It was a great movie. It didn't make that much money in the box office. It made $13 million. It did get great critical reviews. And then it came out on Netflix last week. And it has found a following on Netflix. What did Netflix say here? It was the number eight movie of the week of everything they have and attracted 3.5 million views. I can kind of see there wasn't a big action film. It's not necessarily this type of uh, thing that you go to the theaters to watch, but if it's on Netflix, you know, and people like it, word of mouth is good. It's funny too. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's for the week of January 22nd to 28th right there. So it's just a whole host of things all in one that have caused GME, the crypto token to moon. Now the Telegram group is apparently where the action is happening. It's just wild people just sharing out of control memes, sort of like the way the Reddit Wall Street bets forum in that January week of 2021 was out of control. So go there for most of the action. Here's a Twitter page. It's the usual, a lot of memes, some Twitter spaces, article on Binance, people getting tattoos. There's the L-Bank listings, etc. 
And that's it for GME. So let me know, what do you think about GME? Is it going to keep going? Do you think it can get up to 100 million, 200 million? Do you think, as I've seen some people saying it's going to get up to 1 billion market cap. Let me know what you think. Do you own some? Do you not own some? Do you think it's too early? Do you think it's too late? Let me know. Be back later with a new video. Make up signing out. Catch you later.